so guys the first thing you need to do is to ensure your fabric is on a fold so i want to cut the back and front piece together so you can also see i left one inch for the zip allowance so what i'm going to do now is to place my tape so when you place your tape you have to remove the person's half length so i'm actually making this for someone and half length is 16 inches i subtracted it here at the upper part so on the down part the full length is 40 inches and i have 34 inches there so i have from the waistline to the knee and i added extra one is to make it 34 inches okay so the next thing you need to do now is to mark your allowance so the zip allowance i have here is one inch and on the waistline, you have to mark quarter of your waist measurement. Then add your two inch for your seam allowance. Once you're through with that, place your tape from the waistline and come down by eight inch or nine inch, depending on your height. Okay, so that is for your hip line. So there is something I need to explain here. Okay, based on this particular style we are working with. So when you get to this hip line, you will have to come down again by two inch. Or better still, you should take her measurement from her shoulder to her underboard because that's where her flay will be attached, okay? But for this one I'm making her, her flay will be attached on her knee line. This is because she came with one and a half yard of fabric and I told her it's not going to be enough that she need at least two and a half yard because she's a slim person. But she said she just managed it like that so there is no way I would attach the flare from the underboard because of the fabric okay so I want to manage it very well for her that's why I said okay let me just attach it on this knee part and I already explained that to her and we agreed before sewing okay though she wanted the same style but the fabric is the problem here you know some of them will just see a particular style they will like it and they will not buy enough fabric then expecting you to do some magic which is not possible okay so once you get to the hip line don't forget to take your hip measurement then add your allowance then also add one inch for your stitching allowance on the downside okay before cutting it out straight all right so that is how you get from your shoulder to your underboard okay so back to what i was saying here you can see i came down by eight inches now after marking I will go ahead and mark on the same line i will mark quarter of my hip measurement then i will add two inch for my seam allowance okay then i will connect from the waistline to the hip line all right just like this so once i'm through with that the next thing i want to do now is to connect it to the hem line then after that i will cut it out So from the zip allowance side, I also go down by one inch, then I'll slant it into the other side. So this is just to avoid any form of botchiness, okay, on the zip allowance side. So after I was done with this, I will now go ahead and cut out the half length for the back and front piece, okay? So for the half length, you already know the half length is 16 inch, and I added extra one inch to make it 17 inches, okay? So I'm going to come down by nine and a half inch this is for her bust point so i'll go ahead and mark okay after that on the shoulder part i'm going to mark half of her shoulder measurement plus half an inch for the stitching allowance then i'll come down by eight inches which is her armhole depth okay so i'll repeat the shoulder the half of shoulder measurement on this other side i'll use it to make a straight line okay you connect it like so after that come down by half an inch for the shoulder slope also divide what you had left mark the midpoint come inside by half an inch also mark quarter of her bust measurement on the chest line once you are through with that then go ahead and connect it okay you go ahead and connect it like this okay so after connecting mark quarter of her bust measurement add two inches for the allowance on the waistline mark quarter of her waist measurement then add two inch for the allowance so there's no dart on this dress there is no dart for the upper part and there's no dart for the skirt part which is the down part so i'll just go ahead and cut it out okay so this is for the front after cutting the front piece i will go ahead and cut the back piece okay so before then i will mark three inch for the neck width then also come down by three and a half inch so i'll connect the two dots to give me a round neckline just like this 
after that i'll cut it out and after cutting it out i also cut out the shoulder stoop okay just like this so once i'm through with this i'll now move into the cutting of the back piece okay so for the back piece place your front piece this way then you will have to cut exactly what you have on the back on the front piece don't add any zip allowance like don't add any allowance for zip because the bag has no zip so from the back piece i'll come down by two inch for the neck deep also connect it this way then go ahead and cut it out this is a round neckline so after cutting i'll remove the front piece okay you have to remove your front piece so now you know the back has a less up like it has loops so i'll mark just one inch for it after that i'll just go ahead and cut it out so you can see i marked one inch here so i'll cut it out when i cut it out i'll have two inch okay so after cutting this is what i have all right so the next thing i want to do now is to bring the front piece i want to come down again by half inch like i want to go down again by half inch so i'll have like four inch deep okay so the next thing i did was to sew this long loop after sewing i will measure to two inches then cut it out okay so this is for the lace up go ahead and cut your loops just sew like a rope then cut it out like this after cutting guys i'll place the back piece then from the neckline i'll come down by half an inch okay so after marking i'll give two inch space for my loops okay so you mark to two inch space then on this down part here on the waistline you will have to leave about half an inch okay so once you are through with that go ahead and place the loops this way okay you just fold it fold it in a u shape like this then go ahead and place all through after that you sew so once i'm done sewing guys you can see what i have here so this is another piece i cut out out of camera so i have like three inch there so what i want to do is to go ahead and cut the neckline okay so you use the piece to cut the neckline repeat the same thing on this other one so this is serve as the facing okay so go ahead now and place them this way right side facing each other this way okay then you cut the excess after placing so now you will need to head over straight to your sewing machine and sew from the neckline to the down part okay from the neckline to the side repeat the same thing on this other one as well so i'll just go ahead and do that and i will fold here after that i will be right back so guys after sewing this is what i have okay so the next thing i want to do is to place my hemming gum you just open your facing you place it just insert it this way then Go ahead and iron it so when you iron it it's going to stick together with the fabric so this is the front piece i'll use my bias to pipe the neckline if you have enough fabric you can also use the same fabric as the facing okay so guys after um placing or ironing my hemming comb inside it you can see what i have here is no it's no longer um opening it now stick together with the fabric okay so this is the front piece what i'm going to do now is to keep this aside then this is the back this is the down part right okay this is the down part you have to open it up like this then go ahead and place the right side facing each other then you sew okay so for the back piece you have to mark your zip allowance i added one inch for the zip allowance and i already notched so i cut out one inch for the opening of the back piece okay for the back opening i cut that one inch so i'll just place the half length the back half length exactly at the spot i chalked or marked the one inch which i cut out on the on the half length okay on the back half length you also repeat the same thing here i hope you are seeing what i'm doing here just after marking your zip allowance you mark whatever inch it's not even whatever inch you have it has to be one inch so go ahead and place it that way after that go ahead and sew with half inch okay so guys after sewing this is what i have i also joined the shoulder okay for the sake of time so the next thing i want to do now is to attach the zip for the lower part okay so you have to merge it this way okay so you fold in 
half an inch put in half an inch like this then you have to place your tip come down from from there you come down by eight inch so this is where you'll be attaching your zip then sew the rest you have like you sew the rest opening you have so i'll just go ahead and do that and be right back after attaching my zip guys this is what i have here and i've already um pinned the both side so i want to now go ahead and shape okay so if you want to shape this you have to shape with half of your bust measurement okay so her bust measurement is 34 inches and i marked 17 inches i have to mark the both side measure the waist side as well go ahead and divide all your measurement by two this time around because you are shaping a dress okay come down from the waistline by eight inches for the hip line or nine inches so go ahead and also mark your hip measurement divided by two okay then when you get to the knee side you will have to mark two inch on the knee side but because um the dress the flay was attached on the on that part there's no need marking the new measurement um whatever you have on the hip line is okay for wherever the length would stop so after sewing i had to trim out some excess on both sides okay just like this another thing i did was to leave some space on the side so from one of the side just leave some space from there like two inch space okay then you will now turn to the right side so this is what the right side looks like so i'll just keep it aside and i'll work on the flay okay so i want to make a straight gather stitch so you can see i have two pieces here so for the shorter piece i have 5.5 and for the longer piece i have eight inches okay so what i'm going to do is to run my gather stitch on the upper part then on the hem part i will just fold it okay just like this so after sewing guys this is what i have here so i'll just go ahead and gather this piece just like this i'll continue gathering till i get to the other end so you can see i have a very small piece here that's why it's very important to work with it with enough fabric okay so your dress will come out very nice so i'll just go ahead and attach it like this okay just look at what i'm doing here you go ahead and attach this way so once you are done attaching the flay to the lower part the next thing i did again was to add the sleeve so for the sleeve i already fold the hem part of the sleeve so i'll just go ahead and shape the sleeve and i also attach it to the dress after sewing or attaching to the dress guys i will also iron and my client will put on the dress so you see the final result of this dress okay especially the back so this is the final look of this dress guys what do you think though from my own point of view the dress really came out fine it still came out so beautiful you can see the back the back looks lovely can you see so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye